Aging is like a disease. I view it as kind of a disease. I'm Manoj and I'm a film actress. Well, my age, every part of me has a different age, but the majority of me is over 40. I think even as a teenager, I, I could never accept the concept of getting older one day. I always had that in my head. I never wanted to get older. Manoj has spent the majority of her life doing all she can to fight against aging. So I had my breasts done all in all six times. I had my lips done, quite obviously, upper eyelids done. I got my face filled, my cheeks filled. Um, what else? You know what? I even lost count of all the things that I've done to myself. All in all, it's like 40 plastic surgeries. I had another procedure that went wrong with my lower eyelids. You see, it's taped up now. That needs um, reconstructive surgery. I will never stop doing plastic surgery. All in all, on all operations and procedures, 50,000. I mean, in pounds, it would have been like 40, 45,000. In euro or in dollars, it should be between 50 and 60,000. Thousands spent on cosmetic surgery is one thing, but Manoush isn't finished there. Willing to try anything, she's reached out to a scientist who believes he may have found the secret to eternal youth. I'm really, really fascinated and interested in all things anti aging. So I read about Dr. Bruce Karf in the media several times. He's a doctor at the university in Moscow, and he discovered a three and a half million years old immortal bacteria in the permafrost of Siberia. The immortal Siberian bacteria in question is called Bacillus F, and Anatoly Brushkov believes it could be used to slow or even halt the process of human aging. So it looks like some of the microorganisms, they have some amazing mechanism of survival which keeps them alive for millions and millions of years. Just imagine what if they have that and what if we can use it. You see, we can prolong our life for, for thousands of years. Uh, you see, the local people who live in the far north in that area, they actually consume in that bacteria with, this, with the water because permafrost melts and then the, those microorganisms, they go through the water. And believe it or not, but that area is famous for people who live in longer in Siberia. Dr. Brushkov is taking this bacteria for years now. He has a fabulous skin, like a young man. So finally, I decided to contact him. So we have uh, something uh, alive on Earth, which lives millions of years in our own hands. We shouldn't miss that opportunity. That's my strong belief. He's doing me a big favor. He's doing science a favor. I am happy to be able to be part of this. So here we go. That's so what it is. is. That's what he what gave it me. Is. It is that, what it that's is. That's bacteria. <laughs> it looks absolutely unspectacular. My family is absolutely against it. They're going up and down the walls against it. My mother and my brothers didn't even agree to go on camera. Receiving injections of a mysterious ancient bacteria brings unknown risks. Manoush's friends are supportive but concerned. <laughs> well, I know Manoush has done a lot of plastic surgery and a lot of um, different things. This is like a totally new level because we really have absolutely no idea at all what is going to happen. It's like, it could be like even some alien virus or something for all I know. I would never do something like that ever, but I am not, don't want to stop anyone from trying something like that out either. I would definitely do it too. <laughs> you, you, would, you would do it. Yeah, I would do it. I would try it. So, what we're doing now is we're going to Dr. Patrick John's house. Patrick is a friend of mine, he's a doctor, and he will be with me today when I start my experiment with the Russian bacteria. I'm feeling absolutely fine, I'm absolutely excited, I feel 
like a child on Christmas morning. I'm gonna inject, I think, two milliliters in total and repeat it every month until it's gone. Look at that needle. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> what could go wrong? So first of all, every injection poses the risk of infection, local infection, or even general infection. Now, we're talking about bacteria. Bacteria can always cause a reaction of the immune system, of course. Um, there could be an allergic reaction. There could be even like the ex most extreme reaction would be a toxic shock, which could pose a life-threatening condition. So I am concerned and I really want to watch what's happening here. Anatoly Brushkov has tested an extract of the bacteria on mice and taken it himself, though he says as a food supplement. So Manusha's decision to inject is a new, possibly riskier stage of the experiment. I didn't recommend her any injections and I told her it was no injection. It was just uh, consuming the extract of that bacteria. Well, what I can say, she's a very brave lady. If there's no risk takers, there's no progress. And on the other side, I know the risk that I know what can happen, but that's life. That's her decision. I mean, she's a big girl. Patrick will closely monitor Manoush's progress, but legally, he isn't allowed to administer the bacteria, so Manoush will be giving herself the injections. That's right, right? So here we go. Stop, 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 stop. What? Disinfection first. Oh, okay. okay. Easy, easy does okay. it. Okay. Easy does it. All the, way in, all the way in. All the way in. Yeah. And slowly. And now just slowly. Good. I'm really, really excited. I'm really happy, really excited. I'm, we'll see what's going to happen. I will keep injecting one to two milliliters each month until the bottle is empty, which should be about 12 to 24 months. It's much too soon, it's much too early to say anything. What I can tell, I'm really well, I'm physically well, I'm, I'm, I'm mentally well, I don't regret a little bit. I don't regret even a bit that I did it. I would do it again, and next month, I will do it again. First things first, I never had any adverse reactions, I never had any negative reactions, no infections. I never reacted badly in any way to the bacteria. I have more stamina, I can work out longer, I sleep better. But you know what, um, we have to find out if this is really an effect from the bacteria or if it's a psychological effect. So we will wait and see and I'll take a video next month. Thank you. Bye.